naturally people in the community when they heard about this they told us that they were shocked investigators are still searching for a suspect on December 28th, the home of former NFL player Mike Hawkins Sr. was vandalized. Allen investigators told Fox 4 someone allegedly sprayed the N-word on the garage. We do not know which garage door the racial slur was painted on. It did shock me. That was Cameron Keithley's reaction when he says investigators knocked on his door following the incident. Hawkins' son, Mike Hawkins Jr., was the starting quarterback for Allen High School's powerhouse football team, and he's heavily recruited. Dave Campbell's Texas football lists the junior as a four-star recruit, ranking him third in his position, with scholarship offers from Alabama, Oklahoma, TCU, Arkansas, Michigan, and others. The incident has resulted in Hawkins pulling his children out of Allen ISD. They told me that uh, something had happened in the garage of one of my neighbors, and um, Basically, if I had a security camera back there or if I had seen or heard anything. The Hawkins home was listed for sale weeks before the incident happened. When we arrived Friday, the family was home. I spoke to Hawkins off camera and he had no comment. All my neighbors here, they know him. I've only heard good things about him and um, I can't even imagine someone around here would do something like that. It, I think it would have to be because you know, he's a quarterback, he's well known, maybe just someone wanted to get under his skin. In a statement, Alan ISD told Fox 4, quote, we are saddened to learn that a family's home was vandalized with hate speech. Any instance of hate speech, no matter where or how it occurs, goes against the core beliefs of our school district, and it has no place in our community. While Hawkins had no comment for us, he told the Dallas Morning News, the first thing that comes to his mind is getting his kids to safety. According to the report, his wife, Annabelle Hawkins, says that she gets nervous to go outside. I've walked around this community. It's it's pretty diverse, so it kind of surprises me that someone would even do that at all, like have it in their mind. Like I said, I feel like it has to be somebody that's not from around here. Now, Allen investigators didn't have many details to share with us, only saying that this is an ongoing investigation.